it also meant like five minutes of, of doing stuff you know, all over again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, it's a, has it? No, it's, it is still snow. Yes, it, 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 it is going down. Well, yes, it's snow. Where did it go? Up. Oh. It is getting less. Ah. You know, actually, my, my parents are coming tonight. They're coming here to celebrate my mom's birthday. Oh, awesome. So, I'm uh, kind of glad that it's letting up. All right, I guess that's not what we And this music doesn't really seem appropriate for here. It seems like it should, like if this music is playing, it should be somewhere that should randomly have an atmosphere, like somewhere dark. I was thinking. <laughs> or possibly, you know, uh, it's not the Blue Danube, the also Sprachsel and Booster. <laughs> Do 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 <laughs> this is even the gravity scramble part. It's oh, come on! <laughs> it seems to suck it in. That's what my grandmother said. Uh, I was like really little and like... We had a balloon and there was a fan in the room and... There it is! Yes, I see the... Down that hole. Yeah, I, I think, like, it won't let you fall into the black hole at this point. You'll just... One... The gravity of one thing or another will suck you in. They, they must have changed the value of the universal uh, gravitational constant. AGAIN! Yeah, actually, come to think of it, they change it all the time in this game. Change the fundamental gravitational constant of the universe? This is what happens when Q tries to be mortal. When who does? Star Trek, next generation. Oh. Q. He's kinda like God, with a bad sense of humor and a breathing voice. Oh. So kinda like the power god. <laughs> I've heard voices much more grating than <laughs> Yeah, well, you've heard me. So. Did you just rotate an arrow and thereby change gravity? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> oh, for the love of... And I'm about to do it again. <laughs> Gravity scramble. Yeah. Not just the gravity. And 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 check out the gravity here. In. Oh wait. Which way is the gravity now? Oh, I was afraid of that. Somehow I survived. Oh, never mind. <laughs> You walked into that one, or should I say jumped and grabbed the altar, then you fell into that one. <laughs> I was jumping from the a part of the platform where the gravity was, like, in on every side to one where it was not. Wait, no, not on top of the cannon. Okay, the cannon just killed the Killed the... yeah. So, did you say that this game was, was acid or shrooms? Shrooms. How no, no, Earthbound was shrooms. Actually, no, this one has to be shrooms too, just because of all the mushroom imagery. Yes. Um, this one in particular, like the series in general, is just somebody who's really, really fond of mushrooms. But this game, this game, they decided to see what those freaky blue mushrooms would do. 
but Earthbound also. I'm not sure if Earthbound was on drugs, about drugs, or both. Well, I mean, you, you remember Moonside, right? Yeah. If, if, if there's one part where they were on drugs, then it was that. There was not one part. They were on drugs for that entire friggin' game. Well, you just said you weren't sure if it was on drugs, about drugs, or both. So I said if there was any part where they were on drugs, it was Moonside. Point taken. Hey, man. What if it was like this, this giant statue, right? It was talking to you, right? <laughs> and then everybody else goes, yeah. And, and remember what the name of that statue is. I don't. Mani Mani. My brother thinks that that's supposed to be like, you know, they're saying that like, it's, you know, about greed. Makes sense. Alright, so is it going to show me another star here? Or should I go? Okay, so now I can go back to my star. And it will show me where it is. Just where you thought it was. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I probably have to activate those, those giant coins. Yes, those. And then it will make an invincibility star here, and I have to get it and run to the trunk. Well, the advantage is at least you kind of can run pretty fast and not worry about taking damage when you are, you know, invincible. Well, not only do you not have to worry about taking damage, you actually are fast. Yeah, I know. Off a cliff? I suppose I could have. That would have been faster. Yeah. Yeah, next time. So, like, it's not like right to die. Uh, sometimes <laughs> you just gotta <laughs> fling yourself off a cliff and transubstantiate somewhere else. <laughs> um, for those of you who are familiar with Tom Smith, uh, what are they? This, this song about. Dead again, yeah. Rocket launcher, railgun, BFG 9001, just millions of ways to die in video games. And, oh uh, no, I I wasn't talking about that. I was... I just remember there was some song that had the line, Time to Transubstantiate. Oh, that's Tom Lehrer. Oh, what did the you Vatican, say, Tom? Tom Smith. Oh, okay. The Vatican Rag is, well, exactly what it sounds like, but the line is, Two, four, six, eight, time to transubstantiate. All right, I guess this is more reboot transubstantiate. Yeah. Doesn't really transubstantiate. I mean, he was a bunch of data before, and now he's still a bunch of data. That's true. I'm thinking, aren't we all really? I suppose. Yeah. This is more difficult than I remember. No, but like, I, I just think like. It's just weird, it's like, life is like this collection of particles that somehow, that somehow learn to, like, we learn in the sense. Like, I missed it again. That somehow, like, started sticking together and, and staying organized in the same ways. That's how I think it is. And again, I was a bio major, so. Why can't I not get that? I think you're, I think you're, uh, uh, choppering too late. Yeah, I am. The thing is, I'm trying to, what I'm doing is I'm trying to do it without choppering, because I know I only have three. And then I realize I'm, I have to, but I'm doing it too late. You know, Can you, you know what? get one and then go back? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'll try that. So, essentially, you just have to follow the gets. Well, hold on. Do not... Uh, hit it. No, do that. 
You know what? I might as well just try and <laughs> Oh, now it's definitely snowing again. <laughs> Alright, there are lots of other stars that come out, so... Lots of other stars in the sea. Wait. Unless you take a very strange cosmological... Well, you know what? They do call it the Imperial Navy, so... Ah, here's the galaxy I mentioned before. Freeze flame! So... Kind of like Hailfire Peaks in Mango <laughs> Hailfire Peaks! <laughs> the frozen peak of... Baron Burr. Yes. Did he shoot Alexander Flemington? 